I don't know how much more of this I can take. We've been out here for four months now. Doing what? Nothing. We've been ordered into this sector. Regardless of how much we're doing, we still get paid the same. Still, I'd rather we were doing something useful with our time, rather than all of this waiting. Hang on. Can you see that? What? I'm running a magnification on it. One sec. Over there. By that moon. I can't quite make it out. It looks like a ship. Yes, I think it is. Could you initiate docking procedures? I'll message to the captain. Okay, you've woken me up. What do you want? We found a freighter. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. I see. It has detected energy readings. Faint, but they're there. And what do you want to do about it? We tried hailing the vessel, but got no response. Quinn, what do you think we should do? I want to go on board. You can to satisfy your curiosity, I suppose. That's a man of word. Yeah, of course, Murph is ten minutes. Quinn, take Jim. I want him to go with you. Okay. Thank you, Captain. Don't mention it. I know why you're here. May I sit down? Sure. Look, I understand your situation, but there's nothing I can really help you with. With all due respect, Captain, that's not strictly true. With all due respect, Matt, you shirked out of active duty as much as you possibly can. I want a transfer. You don't like where I transfer you to if you don't get your act together. You never notice when I do put in any effort. Oh no? I do notice. It's only recently that you've been lagging behind. If you want to be taken seriously, you have to put in the effort all the time. Not just when you think you're being observed or when you want something. What if I did an exceptional job from now on? Would you consider it? I'll tell you what. I'll consider it. If you go in Quinn's place. If you take his place, I'll have a chance to talk to him about a transfer. You're giving me the chance to prove myself? Yes. Just... Don't mess it up. Thank you, Captain. I won't. Quinn. Matt wants a transfer. He's been slacking off a lot lately and I'm all for letting him go. But I want to give him a good reference so he has a chance. I also want to keep my crew on that ship to a minimum. So I'm asking if you'd let him go instead of you? That's fine. I'll let him know. I'm sorry, Quinn. I know you probably want to have a look around. It's fine. If they bring back anything interesting, I'm sorry I'll get the chance to look at it later. Of course. Alright, I'm going to go get some sleep. I am knackered. I just thought I'd let you know I'm not going with you on the away mission. You're sending me over alone? No, Matt is going to go work with you. Practically alone, then. It seems he wishes for a transfer. The captain is considering it. Is our benevolent captain having delusions of his competence again? Just try to bring this one back alive, Jim. That's asking a lot, even of me. Good luck. You say it like I'll need it. Something's really damaged the console room. Your endless capacity to state the obvious amazes even me. I wonder what killed him. Don't touch it, you fool! Don't touch anything! I think this powder's what's left of him. What's that? It looks like a dagger. 
can make out some of the markings. I wonder what a relic like this is doing on a starship. I have no idea. This place gives me the creeps though. I'm going to have a look around. Don't touch anything while I'm gone. Okay. I guess I'll wait here then. Where's Matt? He must have tricked the self-defence system. He was dead when I found him. There were no signs of survivors. You mean he split up? Yes. I'm going on board to recover the body. I'd ask you to come with, but you should probably report to the captain. I'll take my car instead. I wouldn't advise it. We have protective clothing. There's a strange white powder everywhere. I'm going to get myself checked for radiation sickness. I feel odd. Thanks for the heads up. Don't mention it, it's more than I got. Did you find the body? We took him back to the medical bay. It seemed to have a mask attached to its face. We couldn't remove it. We also found another body, but it disintegrated on touch. I see, did you find anything out? No, not much. The air was highly contaminated. Oh, fantastic. Well, I'm glad we've cleared that up. Did you make any progress disabling the self-defence system? None. As soon as the systems were offline, they'd just restart. We tried cutting the wires, but the system just seemed to power back on. Can't we just use an electromagnetic pulse to knock the power out? It's an old ship, but the systems are shielded. As far as I'm concerned, it's not worth the time. The environment was highly hazardous. I mean, if someone tried to loot, the derelict as we did, that risk losing someone, and it really is not worth the risk. I'm going to talk to the captain and recommend that we destroy the ship. I found a souvenir. What do you think? It looks like a ritual dagger. Hmm. I'll take that away for analysis if you like. Work on it whilst I work on the autopsy. That'd be useful actually, thank you. It makes me uneasy. Well, it looks like I've got my work cut out for me. I'll be off then. I'm going to go and get something for this. I don't feel good at all. You should get some rest. Subject's body appears on the outset to be not too badly damaged. Internal injuries cannot be assessed until I've performed a complete autopsy. There was a large amount of white powdery substance found on the subject's body. I am now analysing it with the ship's computers. The mask seems to be attached to the head. I should be cutting it free using the prime saw. I'm testing it now. The pump saw appears to be functioning correctly. I should begin cutting soon. Analysis of the weapon brought back. It appears to be ancient and of Earth origin. Letters and numerals have been analysed by the computer. The computer has identified the language as archaic, leading me to believe it was not programmed with enough data to give accurate results. Power failure. Computer data will have to be inputted again in case it is corrupted. Who's there? Who the hell 
is going on? Okay. Stabbed to death in the medical bay. Found this knife on his body. It came from the ship. Let me have a look. No. I'll hold on to it for now. Until I know who's done this, I'd rather keep it with me. That's understandable. Have you seen Jim? No. Can't find him anywhere. I keep messaging him, but no response. Found his uniform in the lab with a syringe next to it, but I don't know what's in it. You don't suppose he could have... Could he have killed Michael and then committed suicide? I hate to jump to conclusions. That might explain why Matt didn't make it back. Matt's dead too. I'm afraid so, Captain. I believe we're the only people still alive on this ship. We've sent a distress call. Help will be arriving in two days' time. What are we going to do until then? I'm going to go to bed. You're going in the brig. What the hell did I do? We can't find Jim. Apparently he's dead. We've lost Matt and Michael. I can't risk you being the murderer. You could have killed Jim off. I know. I found Michael. I'm a suspect as well. But as it stands, I have the gun. And I'm going to control the situation as best as I can according to Federation procedures. I understand. Fine. Until help arrives, I relinquish my title of captain to you. Thank you. Come with me now.
I think you're right. I analysed some of the powder you found. It was scrambled, but it contained his DNA. I believe Jim is dead. How long to the rescue? I have a confession. N no one is coming. I killed Michael. Didn't send a distress signal. Just couldn't let them know. What? It was no accident it found us here in space. The knife talks to me. But now, it's gone. It's taken Matt, and now they're both gone. It travels from place to place, time to time, dimension to dimension. And it kills wherever it goes. You're mad! You could never understand. You haven't seen the things I've seen. They'll find you! You can't just run away with a Federation ship! They'll find you and interrogate you and find out what happened. They won't find me. Or either of us. I've set the ship to self-destruct. I've destroyed the cancellation mechanism. You idiot! Don't you realise what you've done? You'll kill us both! I know. I'm going to die. I'm... I can't die. Not, not like this. 